Technology these days has sort of almost rendered the. Um, can someone turn the television off? Has rendered the whole thing of the, um, you know, the, the, the kitchen table as obsolete. You know, these days, you know, very often you find families, people actually don't even sit on the table anymore. They use the table to store things like bills and, you know, weird shit that you just put all over the table and, you know, computers <laughs> generally. And they're all sitting in their room and they'll feed the kids in the room. They'll all sit there on their own little devices watching movies or looking at eBay or downloading porn and sort of munching out. And so, <clears throat> and for kids who are like teenagers, sometimes it's easier because you, who wants to deal with the beast? You know, just throw them some food, close the door and go, oh my God, thank God, it's quiet outside. But you end up with everyone sort of, sort of eating in their little portals and not connecting. The table is the amount, like, it's the only thing I do. If you're going to do one thing, eat at the table. It's the simplest thing. We introduced it five years ago. There was a bit of a riot um, because people wanted to sit in front of eat. We were eating in front of the television. I thought, oh my God, we're going to turn into one of those really fat families that sit there because in front of the TV. So I said, look, let's just start, you know, eating from the table. It was like, it was a huge riot. Someone actually, you know, sort of threw a tantrum and slammed the door and went into the bedroom and they had to come out anyway because they're hungry. So they came out. So now we sort of do it, you know, and it's got really good. Sometimes we'll sit there for ages. Sort of eating around the toilet. You actually eating around the toilet. <laughs> That's nice. We do that too. Uh, but we like to. We like to eat around the toilet. It is. It's such a funny thing, and it's actually really quite nice. We're getting them all out, and that way you can actually find out what they're doing. You can talk about, you know, see who's got the most latest tattoo or piercing, or you know, talk about, you know, I don't know, set, you know, who's got a new boyfriend? They're older. Um, preschool, you know, we've got a bit of a range. We go from four to eighteen, so we have a bit of. It's funny actually, sometimes I have adults that are like friends over, and they bring their iPhones because they have no technology at the table. They put their iPhones on the table, and I have to actually. Ah, oh, Pippi, actually, no phones at the table. <laughs> up here, has to get, has to go up here. What is it? We have no technology at the table, rule. I know. It's it is like right, yeah, it's not Russia. We have guests here, they're not used to the rules. <laughs> As a guest, uh, it's a little bit of a riot sometimes. It's a little bit. It's the only rule, one of the rules we do have. Um, are the cameras at the table? But that's because it's filming. Don't get smart, us. They always trying to push the limit. Anyway, it's really nice. What do you guys think of anyway? That no technology at the table. Well, well, I like technology. Oh, yes. Solver so I don't think it's nice <laughs> to look at people <laughs> when, you, when you eat it. Anyway, Usually when we kind of do it, down. you know. And sometimes we'll actually talk for hours. Sometimes it's the only time we actually actually do sit down together is actually sitting down now. It's kind of like chaotic and loud and sort of full on, but it's nice. I love it. So I was say, get back to the table. squash. Just realise someone's missing. They're in their room on their computer. 